This is the Akara FP2 Presence Sensor, and we are going to use this to automate all of the lights in our home office. When I walk into this room, I want all my lights to turn on, and when I walk out, I want all the lights to turn off. Now, I initially set this up on my Amazon Alexa device. However, there's a half hour delay on these devices. So when you walk in, lights turn on. When you walk out, it won't check the state for at least another half an hour, and that can't be changed. So we're switching to this. This is what you get out of the box. You get the actual device, a couple of screws, a couple of mounting plates with some double-sided tape and a cable. Something to note, even though they charge 200 Australian dollars, you're gonna need your own little charger. Here is a spare one I found. I think that's a bit cheeky given the premium price point they charge, so keep that in mind. Now unfortunately, a cable tie doesn't quite fit in that little hole, and I don't want to use double-sided adhesive or use a screw. But what I did find is a little bit of line trimmer. I'm just going to loop that through and tie it up. From all my research online, you want to place it on a flat surface where it has a great view of people entering and leaving the room. And to me, I think my pegboard makes the perfect sense. It's also pretty handy that this is actually magnetic. So while I'm using line trimmer just because that's what I have, if I get a metal plate, it'll just sit there, which I might do in the future. And there we go. Not very stable. I don't recommend using line trimmer, but I can't be bothered waiting for another delivery. I just want to start mocking around with this. Now we have to attach the power cable, which just sits underneath. For anyone that's watching, do this before you mount it. Uh, that would have been the smart thing to do. I clearly did not choose to do the smart thing. Okay, now we've connected the power and it is flashing yellow, which means it's ready to pair. Now I'm gonna go ahead and download the mobile phone app. So we're gonna go search for Akara. And this is the application that you want. Once that's downloaded, we're going to go ahead and open the app. Go ahead and accept your life away. Select your region. I guess we're going to have to sign up for an account. That's an interesting flow. They get you to do your email verification before you set your password. Kind of makes sense. I just haven't seen many companies do that before. All right, so we are logged in. We're gonna go add accessory, scroll down to sensors, and we want our presence sensor FP2. It is flashing, confirm, and next. It's picked up our device. In order to connect, it wants your Wi-Fi password, so go ahead and chuck that in. Hit connect. I'm going to go ahead and set a new location, so I want to create a new location for my office. Cool. So we've got our presence sensor in our office. Hit next. Our sensor is now ready to use. And it looks like within this app, you can set up scenes and automations, which are essentially just if then statements. So if somebody walked into the room, turn lights on. If somebody walks out, turn lights off. However, I love orchestrating things from Home Assistant. So let's go ahead and integrate that and make that our central point of automations. I'm not sure why, but whenever I click into my device, I can't replicate it now, but before I was not able to click into my device, I was getting a security error. If you get the exact same, the way I got around this, it seems like a bug in the app. You click on your profile, click on home management, click on your rooms, and then from here, if you click accessory and the device, you'll get the initial loading screen of setting it up. Now, we want to go ahead and select zone detection. So it wants it in a 120 degree radius. Now I've set it up on my pegboard, which covers the entire room. So I'm just gonna go next. I think that degree of angle I've got it on should cover. So we're gonna go ahead and go next. And complete. 
it's gonna get you to confirm the motion direction so you have to walk around your room a little bit and then it, yep it wants you to keep walking and all done i'm now sitting in my chair and i can see myself on the screen now that our device is completely set up and accurately picking up people let's integrate it into home assistant in order to integrate into Home Assistant, I had to restart my device. So just unplug it, plug it back in, and then Home Assistant should automatically pick up your new device. If you head over to Notifications, you'll see that it's discovered a new device. We're going to click Check It Out. And we're going to go ahead and configure our new Presence Sensor. Now it is going to ask you for a pairing code. This is on the back of your device that you just mounted. So we're gonna have to unmount it, quickly get that code, chuck it in. Okay, I was able to get the code without having to unplug it all. So let's just type this in. Cool, we're gonna assign it to our office. Hit finish, and I think we are good. If I go to overview, I can see my presence sensor here. So we're going to go ahead and set up an automation because when I leave my room, I want all of our lights to turn off. And when I come back in, I want them all to turn on. So we're going to go to settings, automations and scenes and create automation. Create new automation, add a trigger. So we'll go device when our presence. So when somebody comes into the room straight away, we want to office lights, turn on, and hit save. Now I'm actually going to edit this because that particular scene that I have changes the color of all my lights, which I don't like. So I'm gonna individually just for now, uh, turn them all on. And now we're gonna do the exact same, but for when no one is in the room. So we're gonna go create new automation, device fp2 so when no one is in the room straight away we're going to turn all of our lights off cool so we're going to turn all the lights off and hit save i'm just going to manually trigger these to make sure that we've got it the way we want so i'm going to trigger the lights off and they turn off and turn them on okay so, moment of truth. Let's see what happens when we leave the room. Those lights should, in theory, turn off. They, for some reason, turned off when I walked back into my room, which means I think I've got the automation incorrect. Yep, that would do it. I messed up my automation. I had both of them to execute when people are in. So we want it when it's not occupied to turn everything off. Hit save. Okay, take two. I'm going to walk out of my room and the lights are going to turn off. Any minute now. There we go. A slight delay, but it worked. All right, what about walking back in? <gasps> that was pretty quick. We now have our lights automated. So they are turning off automatically and turning on automatically. Now the product isn't perfect. I have noticed a slight delay when I walk out of the room. It takes about 10 or so seconds to turn off. But when I do go back into the room, it is really, really quick at turning everything back on. I tested this a bunch of times on average, it was about 10 seconds when I left the room. If I left the room and came straight back in, the lights were delayed on turning on. But in a typical scenario, when you've left the room for at least 5 or 10 seconds and you walk back in, it was instant. But I'm going to muck around a bit more with this. It seems pretty cool and it works a lot better than the automation presence detection with the Alexa device. Now you may have noticed that these lights behind me didn't turn off and on with the automation and that's because they are Philips Hue devices which use the Zigbee protocol and I just haven't bought a USB stick or adapter for my Raspberry Pi to actually integrate into those. 
Quick update, I recorded every single time I entered and left my room over the course of the day, and I recorded that it worked 34 times and didn't work 14. Now, these issues could have been lights not turning on or off at the correct time, not correctly detecting my presence. There was even one time at 11.30 at night when I was trying to go to sleep and the lights just would not turn off and I had to do that manually, which was a bit annoying, um, which gives us a success rate of 60%, which isn't great. Since then, I have gone back into the app and readjusted some of the zone settings, and it seems to have gotten a lot better. If I had to guess, it's now working about 80 to 90% of the time. But even after mucking around with those settings, just, I really want to love this product, but just 20% of the time, it is not correct. I hope they sort that out in a future update or a new product because I would really love to put them all throughout the house because they seem super cool. However, I need a product that is going to work 100% of the time, not 70 or 80. So to recap, we set up our Akara FP2 Presence Detection Center. We integrated it into Home Assistant and we set up an automation so that the lights turn on and off automatically depending on whether somebody is in the room or not. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.